Hello everyone, this is Trigger here of course, and today I am bringing you another video, and today we're going to be going over the Hunter class and how to kill everyone. So this is basically going to be a guide on how to kill everyone, and how to basically to play the Trapper class. So, to start, you can see that I immediately go ahead and set a trap down at the nearest generator. You want to do this as quickly as possible, um, and that's very vital to the Trapper class. Um, in this game, there's a lot of, this shows a lot of prime examples of what to do and what not to do. So immediately, uh, I just keep doing this and keep getting more and more traps and placing them at the most of the closest generators and at the most probable spot that the survivors are going to stand at. Um, while at the same time I am paying attention for other survivors. Um, and it's okay to kind of sacrifice a generator in the beginning like what just happened. Uh, one generator got lost while me get, while I was looking for another trap. Um, but it's okay because I'm just going to go to the nearest trap, uh, the next, the, well the nearest generator I think they're going to go to and just kind of set up another trap. Um, the most important thing of the trapper class is to use your traps. In the beginning of the game the traps are absolutely important. In the beginning of the game I would say is um, after two generators so uh, anything after two generators is considered so right now we're on number four so it's still after the early game uh, so I'm just still looking around and paying attention and I think I actually run into our first person here while picking up a trap so I pick up that trap and uh, I hear something and I end up seeing a person right there so um, obviously I hit the person and they get away um, I don't really worry about trying to track them immediately uh, I just kind of trying to follow the tracks that they leave and in just in case you don't know monsters leave tracks behind to follow the tracks it's the scratches on the ground so if, if a player sprinting you're gonna see the scratches um, I see the update telling me that they dropped the thing down and then they uh, kind of got away so I don't really I don't really pursue them because as the trapper your specialty isn't gonna be to chase someone um, you're more or less gonna be trying to win um, off of a pretty easy game um, or off of your traps so um, as you can see I end up do running into her but I did play it off if you pay close attention to that I actually looked to the left of her and made it look like I didn't run see her and then I end up running right into another guy evading his flashlight um, and just getting a free hit off on him I'm not really trying to do anything more than that I end up just taking her straight to the basement because I have a perk that allows me to carry people for longer so I probably would have dropped her by now but I have that perk that let me carry for her much for much longer uh, so I hook her up and I throw down a trap immediately and the importance of using the basement as a trapper is insane just like the wraith there's a big advantage to using the basement in this case by placing a trap down there they're more than likely going to run into that trap uh, and I end up finding another person because I can hear someone bleeding and it turns out it wasn't even her it was this guy that I end up chasing and I end up getting him too and I do of course pick him up and get him rigged up to the trap uh, the same way as uh, I did to her uh, and this is this is why this area is insane if you can actually use this area to your advantage there's only one way in and one way out so if someone gets comes down to the rescue someone off the hook chances are you're going to be able to read down the person who got off the hook which is also going to allow you to kill them this way you don't have to wait on that person anymore um, and that's very vital so I basically just kind of play dumb and just start walking away I have two hooks so I don't want to walk away but I wait until one person dies which they do die so then it gives me a chance that I'm not really worried about one person getting away because if they do I can just come back there and read down them so I start I get another trap in the meantime start heading back and what do you know so he actually gets released so this means there's gonna be two vital things that happen I'm gonna see the guy I see the guy and I decide to hit him and I let him go but I go after the girl and keep my eyes locked on her Going right for her, I go ahead and get her down again, and I take her straight to the basement. Now, the important part of that play was I decided to not kill the guy. I just injured him. Instead of focusing on him, I just injured him and let him go because I knew that uh, there was more than enough time for me to hit him and then refocus onto the girl. So I did actually get to do that successfully, and I get to hook her, and she does die right away, which is super important because now instead, if I would have focused on that guy, I would have been spending... Um, there's a chance that she would have basically gotten away, and I would have had the I would have downed him, and I would have to hook him, and then wait and wait even longer. Where now I don't have to wait in the basement anymore. I can actually leave because now we're past the early game point, where there's two generators left, and there's uh, one person left and an injured person. So I'm uh, basically just listening and paying attention. I find one generator that's super used up already, and then an active one gets popped. So I'm down to one generator. Um, focusing on my trapper's strengths, I decide to bunker down instead of rushing that spot and just place another trap. My strong point is my trap, so I just try to stay around the three generators that are left. Um, and basically, I just, I'm just i setting up my patrol now. So now I'm following a patrol between the three generators. I'm not going to them. I'm listening uh, for a generator to get activated. Um, and I decide to um, just keep going back and forth, and I end up deciding to... 
uh, go on top of a high ground here shortly, um, which is very important as well for the trapper, especially late game. And ideally, you want to have traps at these three uh, generators at the end, but uh, it's okay because these generators are so close that I can kind of go between them very quickly. Um, uh, one thing I have to stress about the trapper is make sure you use your traps. Um, there's some times where I only catch one person with a trap this game. Uh, but where there's some games where I catch three people with them and I kill all three people just solely because of the traps. And you can see uh, the trap that I was talking about gets triggered and I end up going to this person. Um, they don't have the perk to get, it looks like they didn't have the perk to actually get out quickly so I was able to get there in time. Uh, that's why you basically want to keep your traps to an area that you're going to be around like in this case I was patrolling. Um, I decide not to take her to the basement, um, kind of going against the strength of the trapper's advantage there, and just hang her immediately. Um, and then I go ahead and grab my trap and replace the trap. The reason why I hung her right there instead of in the basement is because it's next to a generator. It's in my patrol path, and on top of that, it's right next to a generator, so I can easily defend all three. So after placing the trap, I kind of, um, I'm a little scared to leave her. I'm kind of okay with three kills instead of four. That's okay. I still consider that a loss. Um, for me, I want to kill everyone. So I'm kind of staying a decent distance away and listening to generators around me. Hence my positioning. I can still see her. I have a trap there and I can hear a generator. So I'm doing three things at once. Um, but it does appear that um, I'm starting to feel that he's not going to actually come to help her. I feel like he's just said, screw her, I'm just going to move on. So I start to get a little more um, ballsy and not really care too much because, again, if they do get her, I'm just going to walk over there and just re-down them in one hit. So I get on the high ground, and you'll notice um, I can see all three points from here. This is a very vital point. This is kind of why I decided not to defend the generator's eye um, earlier and let some get away. And there's a gate right there, so it's a very good high point. Um, I'm just checking on all the generators again. She, obviously, he didn't care about her, so I do clearly know that I need to pay attention for um, the escape hole. And the escape hole is kind of... I hate the escape hole, but it is random, so there's a chance you can find it. So I'm just listening for it just in case while patrolling. Um, the But there is um, more to the escape hole. I end up do finding the escape hole, and you can hear the sound of it. And I end up finding it, and I realize it's right over here. So I immediately uh, i am going to start setting up traps on it. And the reason why is because instead of setting up traps on more generators or the exits, the, 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 the manhole they can, or the escape path, they can just walk up to it and escape. So instead, I'm just going to set up some traps around it rather than on top of it because they can bug it to where they can escape uh, without even setting the trap off. So I just set them off near the pathways from where he's going to be coming in from. This way he has to set them off first at least before going down the exit. Um... So yeah, I just keep on going back and forth. I am a little bit out of my patrol, but I have a feeling he's not going for the generators right away, which I end up being wrong, but it's okay because I'm just, in this instance, I'm worrying about the manhole. Um, so I'm just covering it up uh, with a bunch of traps, making sure it's safe. Uh, I do end up realizing that he is activating a generator when it gets activated, obviously. Um, so it's uh, very easy. Uh, I do actually get a good catch on him. So I'm just setting up the traps again, and, and like I said earlier, in better spots. Uh, I could be setting them up at um, the generators, but is he more likely to activate a generator? Um, yes, he is, but at the same time, that manhole or that escape route is in such an obvious spot that I just don't want to leave it unguarded. So he does pop it, and I do take note that of the one he activated, and I know that he is going to be going to the nearest generator, um, in this case anyways. Um, so I do get up on the high ground, and I immediately see him. I decide to kind of play stupid, a little stupid and not run straight at him, and then I end up changing my mind and going right in for him. I do get a hit off, and he's down because he was bleeding from earlier. This is why... Instead, like, where I damaged him earlier and let him live, it was such a huge difference. Because instead of going after the girl, I just damaged, or instead of going after him, I just damaged him, allowing me just to get an easy kill on him. And uh, yeah, that's how I killed all four people. In uh, believe it or not, I did record this video. Um, I did decide to just make a video on this and try it for the very first time, very first try at doing it, and the tactic worked. Um, just some keynotes, um, and the video is just going to loop now. Um, some keynotes about the trapper is you're going to want to make sure, again, to use your traps. Early on in the game, always place your traps. Get your trap down. The very first trap you get, place the trap right away. Um, there's uh, many reasons for why you want to do that. Uh, and you want to make sure you place it um, at a spot where the generator is close to another one because chances are um, you don't want to waste it on a spot where it's just a generator out in the middle of the nowhere which sometimes happens when you spawn as the killer so make sure you just kind of ignore that one and let that one get taken 
because it's not necessarily a good generator. You don't really care because when it comes down to the late game when you have to patrol, uh, you don't want to have to go all the way out there just to patrol that one with the trap at it because chances are they're just going to get the other generators that are closer together anyways. Um, so make sure you pick uh, generators closely on which ones you want to defend and which ones you want to get rid of. Um, in this case, as the trapper, I decided to give up most of the ones that were farther away from an exit. If you noticed in the video, I actually did keep three turbines that were very close together in a very key location on top of high ground. And with that knowledge, I was able to easily keep track of all of them. I was easily able to um, keep a patrol route between them. And on top of that, I was able to secure the uh, escape hatch with the trapper. Um, and again, the trapper strong suit is the traps. Use the trap as, traps as much as you can. Place them as at many generators as you can, and as close as generators as they are, because it'll allow you to go back and forth. Um, and another vital part to this class, it's not really um, said in the class itself, but you, it, the trapper gets the most benefit from using the, um, the kill basement. The basement with one way in, one way out. I cannot. Str I. I would. I would. <laughs> it's very hard to say, but um, I'll find my words eventually. You definitely want to use the kill basement as much as possible. Always have one trap down there, and always hook people down there if you can. It's always better. And if you have to ch hook someone outside, then make sure to leave at least one trap next to them. Don't leave it directly under them because sometimes the game bugs and they never set the trap off. They do. Um, the person who's escaping does have a little bit of a jump when they jump off the hook. So keep that in mind as well, because that's going to help you um, trap trapping the person who escapes at least. Um, and another thing to keep in note too is when someone's trapped and you have someone else um, trying to help them escape, if you can get there in time and you see the person, injure the person who's trying to um, help the trapped person and then go back and immediately pick up the trapped person. Don't chase the person who's getting away, who, who you just injured. Instead, folk, take the hit on them as a victory and take it as, yes, I, I also damaged them and I'm going to kill this person on the next hook. So you get to put a person on the hook and now you're going to be able to heal the person who's injured if they ever try to come uh, anywhere near the location where you hook them. Um, there's a lot of strategies you can do with the trappers, uh, but the number one strategy to do, to do is to use the kill basement. I guarantee if you start using the kill ba basement with the perk to allow you to carry people for longer and to reduce their struggle rate, I guarantee that you're, you will start killing all four people almost every other game because that is exactly what I found out from playing them. Um, some cases, it's some maps aren't necessarily the greatest for it, so you do have to use open hooks. But if that's the case, make sure you just play into the strength of the trapper and use your traps more often uh, than you would think. When I first started playing, the mistake I made was I decided to only usually place one or two traps and focus on hunting people. I, I quickly realized that that was the incorrect way to play the trapper. That is more like the Wraith's play style, or as more and definitely more in particular, um the uh, hillbillies play style uh, again uh, just the last summary for the uh, trapper is just use your traps use the kill basement if possible um, and think like the survivor in regards to generators and pathways to exits and etc so um, thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this um, little tips and tricks on the trapper guide um, yeah, uh, this is the been the video, the first video on how to kill everyone as in this case the trapper. The next video I shall be doing will be on the wraith. So if you're interested in that, um, I have plenty of hints and tricks with the wraith as well. Um, so yeah, if you look forward to those, uh, look around on my channel. I guarantee you'll find a link to it. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. As usual, please rate and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.